welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I am the owner and artist behind Salvage by K. Scott. Basically, I've been running my own furniture painting and restyling business right here out of this garage for the last two years. It's a little bit of a gloomy overcast morning this morning, so I thought I would pop out into the garage and bring a little color back into my life by painting up these two end tables. This one here has been kicking around my living room for the last year. I did already paint it in this creamy white color, but I was never really in love with it. So I think today I'm gonna go yellow. Nice, fun summer pop of color. And this guy was a thrift store score from yesterday, $9 at my local resource thrift shop. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it needed to be pink. So this table is going to be up first. It's got nice straight lines and this beautiful beaded detail here. As you can see, after my first job of painting, I had some bleed through. What bleed through is, is the natural wood tannins and previous finish leaching up through the painted finish and staining it. It's not pretty and I'm gonna need to fix it. So I'm honestly a little embarrassed about how dusty this thing is being as it's been living in my living room for the past year, but I am gonna go ahead and give it a really good wipe down with some degreasing soap and water. Once I've got it nice and clean, I will give it a coat of this Zinzer Bin Primer. This is a shellac based primer that will basically just seal in any of those spots of the original wood tannins and finish stains coming up through my next coat of paint. This shellac based primer or straight up shellac in my experience has been the only way to block that bleed through from happening. I've tried lots of other primers and not had the same result. So although this stuff isn't the greatest to work with, it is the stuff that works. I'm going to be applying this today with a disposable foam brush that I can toss out when I'm done because cleaning this stuff up after you're done using it isn't fun. While the primer is drying on the other table, I'm going to get this one ready to paint. As you can see, the original surface is pretty worn down. This is gonna get a good sanding and then some primer here as well. All right, yellow is all done. I have moved this safely out of the spray zone and now I'm going to get myself set up for pink. I'm gonna spray my first coat of paint on this table while it's upside down so I can get into all those nooks and crannies. And you'll notice I've also taped off the little brass feet. These are gonna be painted a different color, so I don't wanna get any pink on there. Good news, my plan to paint in bright bold colors today totally worked and the sun came out. Now that I've got both of these tables painted and the paint is nice and dry, the last step I'm going to do before I apply my top coat is just to give each piece a quick light sand. Now you'll notice that I've got this chalky look now on my piece that I just painted. That is totally normal. This is chalk paint after all. And as soon as I get this wet again with my liquid top coat, all of this haziness will disappear. I'm 
going to be sealing both pieces today with this Verathane Diamond Wood Finish in Crystal Clear Satin. The Fat Paint Company does make an absolutely wonderful clear top coat, but I don't have any right now and this is the next best thing. In hindsight, it probably would have been a little easier to paint the feet first and then tape them off and paint the rest of the piece, but I didn't do that, so we'll work with what we have. I'm going to be painting all three feet with this Rust-Oleum Universal Metallic in pure gold. Well, what started out as a dreary day has ended up pretty fun with a couple of bright colors. Let me know in the comments section below what your go-to color is when you're adding accents into your home. Also, make sure to let me know if you're brave enough to rock a sunshine yellow or hot pink accent table in your home. Another huge thank you for choosing to hang out with me today while I updated these two little tables. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, tap the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys next time.